add a plane. Subdivide. The most subdivisions, the smoother animation. In this case, I choose 20. Select the vertices you want to pin, go to data, and assign them to the group. Add the wind and rotate it. Set the strength, I choose 1000. Select the plane and add cloth simulation. Adjust the quality. I choose cotton. Choose animation length. Make sure to add an extra 50 frames so we have enough reserve for a smoother transition. In my case, I choose 300 plus 50 as a reserve. Pin vertex group. Check self collision and adjust the quality. Preview the flag animation and once you are satisfied, go to cache and bake it. Ok, let's select the flag. Let's go to export and let's choose a Lambic file. So here we just give it a name and let's make sure that we export only selected objects. In this in our case is a plane. Let's duplicate the plane and hide it. It will be our reserve plane in case we make a mistake. So now we import a Lambic file and let's preview it. Looks good. Rename it. Duplicate it and rename again. Hide both flags and reveal the main one. Make sure it's selected so we can remove cloth simulation. Now it will be used as a base for our geometry nodes. Now pause the video and copy the geometry nodes that you see on the screen. I have my nodes ready, so the next step is to drag and drop our flags. The first one and the second one. Let's connect them both. Select one of the flags and make a single user copy. Let's make adjustment on frame offset. So our animation for this particular flag starts at minus 50 frame. And the next one, let's make it start at 250 frame. This is where we are using the 50 frame reserve. So to create transition between one flag to another. 